Hi guys, welcome to howtoimprovemygolf.com. I'm Chris Fletcher. And I'm Andy Carter. And today's video is all about chipping and being able to practice in the right manner. Because I think sometimes, obviously, we always look at the, the um, chipping technique, set up, the ball position, the grip, and everything like that. What we don't really focus enough on is our distance control. So, on the range at the moment, we've got three hoops set out, one approximately around about 10 yards up to around about 20 yards, 10, 15 and 20 yards and it's just helping us the, to kind of figure out how far a golf swing needs to be, how much wrist hinge you'll end up putting into it, the speed of the shot and being able to consistently change our distances. So when you have a swing you get into a hole with, just up by the side of the green, sometimes we get really tense and nervous and strangle the club and big back swing and decelerate into the back into the ball hit loads of grass or thin it across to the side. We need to be confident on these particular shots. I find teaching these shots, most golfers, this is the least confident area. They really, really struggle with the, really sh with the short trip. Great from 50 yards and 75 yards where they've got more of a golf swing, but in and around the kind of, let's say, short quarter, if not with less than a quarter of a swing, and committing to, the, committing to impact on the way through is always the difficulty. Yeah, I think what we find is that a lot of people on the downswing, they actually de decelerate on the shot, so they're not creating enough power to get that ball, first of all, to get the correct strike, and yeah. then second of all, to get that ball going forward and hitting down a good angle of attack for the ball. So we're just gonna do a bit of practice and we'll talk you through what we're trying to think and get our bodies to do, so that it gives you a good idea on how to be awesome at shipping and pitching. Awesome. You can go first. Okay. <laughs> so we've got yellow, blue, and red. What are we up for first? We'll go for the yellow. So yes. It's quite a short one. <clears throat> what club have we got? I, I've got my 60. Right. I, I like to play a lot with my 60 degrees, to be honest. And I, feel, I feel like I can manufacture some nice shots with it. Did you do anything different on this one? Obviously, it's all carry up to the, up to the hoop. You put it in quite a difficult position. <laughs> you don't, like, don't like to do things easy here, <laughs> here at <laughs> Improve My Goal. <laughs> what, uh, what, is there a particular shot or are we kind of going quite traditional with this? Yeah, go, go traditional, get behind the ball. I think one important, important thing I do say, you know, we tell a lot of our clients is when they're coming in to hit the ball, you still have to rotate the body slightly. We see a lot of guys that are just doing the pen, pendulum action and then they're very stiff here. We need to make sure that the, I'll just show you straight on, make sure you still just turn your body ever so slightly so that it's facing the target, even yeah. though it's such a short shot. Yeah, exactly, commit to the shot, don't be static. Exactly, right. So I'm just gonna do a pendulum action and then rotate slightly through, that's all. And feel like I'm going to a eight o'clock position. Ooh. Ooh, a bit big. A bit hot. Am I, then, allowed, am I allowed one more, Andy? Go on then. Well, then you can, when you've got a specific target, you hit one shot and then you can relate your next shot to the previous shot. From here now, a lot of amateurs would just start to decelerate through the ball. Yeah. You've got to try and adjust your length of swing and possibly adjust your overall tempo, not your tempo on the way back into the ball. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so maybe my backswing was a little long, so instead of going to the eight, I'll try going to seven o'clock position or feel as if it's seven and, and also just follow through nicely. Okay. So the ball landed a lot shorter there. That's a little left, yeah. but it flew, flew, it flew lower and it stopped quicker. Okay. I'm going to go up to the blue flag. I've also got a uh, blue flag, blue circle. I've also got 60. Again, I like to keep loads of rotation during the swing. All right, I'm going to open the club face up a little bit. Oh, okay. Just going to be a little bit cheeky. You like to do that, do you? Yeah, I like to open the club base because I prefer to have a bit more of a swing. I struggle personally with having short swings and, and, not, and sometimes not fully committing to the shot. So I prefer to just manipulate the club into a way that I will open it a tiny, tiny bit. Nothing too much, but it'll be enough where I can swing a little bit further and I can maintain some speed on the way through the ball. So I can be more aggressive. I like that. I'd rather... Try I can encourage myself to be more aggressive yep. on the next shot. So open the face a little bit. Ah, oh, good effort, nice good shot. effort. Guys, what you'll see is that Andy's actually aiming his body slightly to the left. He's got his foot behind the ball. He's had a dress, he's took this back. The question is, why is he doing this? Well, in the full swing, we rotate an awful lot through the shot. On here, we rotate, but it's not as much as the full shot. So if we bring that left foot back, that's opening up our hips. That, that helps us be able to clear the hips more easily 
and get through on the follow through. Yeah. yeah. Makes it a little bit more comfortable and yep. it also gives us a little bit of a head start as well. Exactly. We're not generating as much speed and power and less momentum, so we've just got to give it a bit of a helping hand. Yeah. Going yeah. for the red? No, I'm going to go. Uh, Where are you going? I'll go, go for the blue this time. Blue, blue. Yeah. Go for the red. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from the mistakes now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one more. Get in. Oh, yes, there we go. got it. That's there the we go. Right, I reckon we should finish on a little challenge. Oh, what do you reckon? Oh, what? So again, adding a bit of competition to to our practice sessions to help make us better. So we'll do one to each, best one to each one. So we'll okay. land it where it lands. So I've hit blue. So you start <laughs> from now. Let's start from now. <laughs> Okay. So where it lands, so it'll just be a straight shootout. You don't have to. Ah, okay, go. nearest. Yeah, nearest okay. to nearest to it, just in case you don't. Get so we're going to start with the yellow, are we? We'll start or? with the yellow. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is a bit under pressure now, so it's completely different. Ah, great direction, guys. This is actually really, really hard. The yellow one, it's the shortest, but it's the hardest. Looks like the smallest hoop as well. Yeah, it's the sm <laughs> it is the smallest hoop. <laughs> It's on this nice little incline, so it just makes it that little bit harder, you know, because we've not got as much uh, club head speed coming into the ball, so the trajectory of the ball is going to be a lot lower. But let's see. Oh, just missed. That's me, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. you. You're okay. keeping the honour or we're changing? Yeah, okay. Keep if you want to do that. 3 <laughs> 0 in a minute, guys. 3 <laughs> 0. <laughs> On to the blue. 1 0 Fletch. Are we on? Alright, blue, yeah. Okay. I thought it was colour blind for a second. <laughs> I was thinking blue, eh? <laughs> okay. Go, go. Uh, oh, doors open. About half a yard short, so let's see. Come on, Andy, make it 1 all. Make us go to the last. I'll let you decide I'm that. that. You're taking that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah? I'll give it I'll give it you anyway. <laughs> yeah, it makes me makes me have to practice. Oh it's uh, then it's you again. Yeah. yeah? So we're on the red. Yeah, I got that. So we're both Man United fans, hardcore Man United fans, so let's see what you can do here. See see if we can hit the red. Where it, it's where it balanced, not where it finished, right? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> not good. Okay. In the driving seat, he's expected to take this now. If I don't, I'm going to... That's not going to be a good shot on your part if you don't win this. Yeah, same. Oh! Oh, pressure does some funny things to people. I hit that really well as well. Uh, oh, I, I hate golf. That's the second. That's, <laughs> the, sec that's the second chipping win. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, it's too late now. There's no pressure. I'm it's still short. <laughs> Take it to the golf course. It's different. Uh, different results. Yes. Well done, partner. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. So, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Again, just. The, uh, I'm still shocked. <laughs> So am I. <laughs> I'm going to end up winning a long try competition the way this is going. <laughs> the one-eyed stinger competition. Yeah. Oh. Keep it. The idea of this video is obviously to encourage you to use different distances in your practice sessions and keep varying your distances so you can kind of commit to different shots on the golf course and adapt much easier. But also, if you're, if you're down the range with a partner, do as much practice competitions as you possibly yeah. can. Just to encourage, again, it's helping you whilst under pressure. See Chris there, buckled. I won't call it buckled, I just call it, yeah, buckled. So <laughs> I hit it well. Anyway, never mind. So, Guys, leave some comments about that. Let us know what you think. Also, write down um, if you want to see anything else for tips or challenges from Carter and myself. Also, please check out our social medias. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Please subscribe to YouTube. 
and also click the, the bell for notifications. Anything else? That's everything. Well, I'm getting good well at done. this. Nice one. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. I will see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye again, bye. what we see a lot of golfers doing, because of where the setup initially was, the club gets a little bit too flat on the inside. Yeah. It starts to climb up the back and moves forwards. Yeah.